Months back, the YouTuber Phidias was going viral for his terrible behavior in Japan. Phidias's terrible actions even causing railway operators to investigate him and his friends. There was also, of course, all the news about Johnny Somali in Japan, including his various arrests. However, general tourism in Japan has also presented a much broader issue. With headlines such as a free-for-all, Japan divided as return of tourists brings Instagrammers and litter. Some local authorities are taking matters into their own hands amid concerns that over-tourism is damaging sites of historical and ecological interest. Japan is of course known for many things, one of those things being their cleanliness and general respect to public areas. Keeping that in mind, we can see this clip which recently went viral, depicting Kyoto's Gion district and immense trash which was littered by tourists. Kyoto's government responded by banning tourists from certain areas, including private alleys in the famous Geisha district. And not even just for trash, but also increased harassment of the traditional entertainers. Some of the tourists ignoring signs which requested them to keep their distance and refrain from touching the women's expensive kimonos. Others even actually trespassing on people's property. Oliver Gia had also posted that tourist scalpers are going to local shops to buy up retro games and systems not for their own use, but instead to try and flip them when they return home for profit. This then harming the hobby for local residents. On our Tokyo, someone even left a comment from the perspective of being a tourist, saying almost everywhere we went, we saw other tourists actively breaking rules, signs for no eating, drinking, sitting, littering, crouching photos, tripod, selfie sticks, did not matter. Saw almost all of the rules constantly broken by other Westerners. Made me feel genuinely embarrassed. Why visit Japan just to actively trash on their customs? Lizzie Jones, an American tourist, also commented on this issue, saying, I think it's a generational thing. The first few times I came here, there was no trash, and now there's a lot. There's a sense of entitlement. People do whatever they want and don't teach themselves about local customs. They don't care. These places don't just exist for your Instagram story. The Prime Minister of Japan, Fumio Kishida, claims to have a vision, a vision of a tourism nation for Japan, which if that's the case means that this will continue to be a balancing act of sorts, and we'll have to see just where it all goes. I hope you enjoyed this brief segment, and if you did, please consider liking and or subscribing to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And my apologies for my voice. I've recently been sick and I'm pretty much all over it, but still kind of like in my voice a little bit, so my bad on that. Regardless, once again, I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for tuning in.